In this week's video, we're going to be covering the 104th lead code problem, max depth of a binary tree. Now this is an easy level lead code problem, and it tends to be a good way to understand a little bit more about recursion and binary trees. So let's jump right in and read the problem statement. Given a binary tree, find its maximum depth. The maximum depth is the number of nodes along the longest path from the root node down to the farthest leaf node. A leaf node is a node with no children. So here's a quick example. So we're given this binary tree with the root being 3, its left child being 9, and its right child being 20, 15, and 7. So we can clearly see from this example that the maximum depth of this binary tree is just going to be 3. Awesome. Now let's jump into the algorithm. So let's get started with understanding the algorithm. So we're given a binary tree that looks like this, and we want to understand the maximum height of this binary tree. We can see from just looking at it that the maximum height is going to be 4. But how can we actually get to this answer? So we're given the root, and let's just follow through with this example about how we can solve this problem. So when we're given the root, if it's not null, then we know that the height has to at least be 1. So the height of the binary tree has to at least be 1. But the height is not just 1, but it is more. It is more because there is a left or right subtree related to that root. So what we can do is say we want to get 1 plus the maximum of the left subtree and the right. So in this case, what we're going to do is call the function on the left subtree as well as the right subtree. And when that value returns, whatever that value is for both sides, we're going to take the maximum of that value. So let's just see how this can work with our example. Clearly, we have 1. So we're saying that right now, the height of 5 is 1 plus the maximum of the left subtree or the right subtree. Looking at it visually, we can see, but of course, a computer cannot understand that. So we're going to have to go through the steps that the computer is going to go through, which is just following this algorithm. And since this root is also not null, we're going to say that right here, the value is going to be 1 plus max of left and right. So right now, in this call, we can kind of draw this out. What we're going to have is one. So right now we are in the left section. And we know that in this left section, this root is not null. So the max right now is there's still going to be another recursive call that calls the left and right of this child. So right now that is empty. We know that it is empty. So that means we have to determine a base case. So the base case is just going to be that if the root is empty, we just want to return 0. So we're going to say 1 plus max. So again, remember, this is the root node. So this relates to 5 all the way over here. And we're going to say 1 plus max of 1 plus 0 and the right. And so if we were to kind of imagine what is going on here, we're going to notice that after we have iterated to this left and right subtree, we're going to notice that it's both empty. And so the height up until, or let's say, let me, let me rephrase that, the height of this tree is going to return 1. And so if this returns 1, the value over here of 5's call of this recursive function is going to be 1. However, the right section has not been completed yet. So we're going to go in and try to figure out what is on the right subsection or right subtree. And when we are going in here, we're going to pass in. We know that this is not null. So we're going to say 1 plus max of L r, then we can just call this the recursive function. And since we do left first, we're going to go in here. 
and check out this value, which is going to be, again, another plus 1. And here, we're going to have another plus 1. So when we reach 3, we're going to realize that its left and right child are both null. And since they're null, we can just return 1 plus 0. So when we return 1 plus 0 into this call of the function, we're going to say that the height of this tree, 6, 3, is going to be 2. And then we're going to return 2 into this call over here. Sorry, this is getting a little bit messy. Let me just clean this up real quick. The left side over here is going to be 2. And the right side is going to be 1. So now we're going to say 1 plus the maximum of left or right side. So since the maximum is on the left side, we're going to say that the height of this tree is going to be 3 which I am going to erase all these things because they don't matter anymore. But the height of this is going to be 3. And finally, we now have the left and the right subtrees information. So here we have 1 and we have 3. And since 3 is the maximum value, we're going to say that the height of this entire tree is going to be 1 plus max of 1 comma 3 which is going to be 4. Oh god that 4 looks ugly which is going to be 4. So that is the basic algorithm that will help us solve this problem. Let's get into the big O time and space complexity. So the time complexity of this algorithm is going to be O of n. This is because we're going to traverse through every single node in this binary tree. There's no other way about it. We're going to have to go through every single node and there's going to be n nodes. So we're going to have a big O time complexity of n. And again, in the space complexity category, we're going to have another worst case scenario, O of n. This is because when we're making these recursive calls, we're going to increase the size of the call stack. And the worst call stack is going to be if the binary tree is not balanced. If we just keep going like this, then the call stack is going to get bigger and bigger. And in that case, since all n nodes are in this one direction, we're going to know that the call stack is going to be O of n. Since it's a binary tree, we can assume that it is somewhat balanced and on average we'll have a space complexity of log n. Now that we understand the algorithm and the big O time complexity, let's jump into the code. The code follows pretty succinctly from the algorithm that we just went over. If the root is none, all we have to do is return 0. Otherwise, we just have to add 1 and then call the helper function on the left tree and the right tree. And once we call it on the left and the right tree, since this helper function is going to automatically return the height of the left and the right tree, we just have to take the maximum of either of those sides. And once we have the maximum, then we just have to add one to that and return. The code is quite simple. So let's just submit. As always, it is accepted. And for some reason, it took exceptionally long amount of time this time. I don't know why it took 32 milliseconds. I got it in 16, which I think was like faster than 97% of all Python solutions. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more in the future. I post weekly on Mondays. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.